from Sparks Avenue Films. Today we're making a keychain holder. A nifty place to put your keys, your phone and your wallet. Now, when you come home, does your hall stand look like this? Where will I put my keys? Ah, back there. Look at that. Let's go to the workshop and make this thing. So you're going to need a piece of wood that's about 400 millimeters by 140, and you just need to cut it in half. There you go. We've got two identical pieces, and we're going to mark them. Now, if it's 18 mil, we're going to mark nine millimeter spaces and drill two holes. Gonna use a standard butt joint and put a countersinking bit in, countersink the hole so the screw heads will go down flush with the timber. Yeah. So I'll use a screw that'll actually go through through the piece I'm putting on top and do that up. Line up the other edge, make sure they're flush, and do that one up. Tighten the first one up. There we go. Now, considering this has no weight, it's very strong. I'm going to sand the block now, sand all the edges. This is like a 160, 240. Speed the film up a little bit for you to see what's going on. And there it is, all neat and tidy, all the edges are done. And use a cloth and get all the sawdust off because we're going to oil it next. There you go. So we're using some linseed oil and oiling the whole thing. There we go. Now you want some dowel. So cut three pegs or four pegs depending on how many holes you put in. There we go. Hold on to the piece of scrap. And snap off and break. There you go, that's one. And do this three or four times. Make sure they're all the same length. There we are. Just take them over here and sand the edges now. Just sand them flush and then sand off the Paris edges. Like that. Other side. It's going to burn them a little bit. But that goes. There we go. Now to match them up with a drill bit, to find the hole in the, in the drill stand, and that'll be the drill that you're going to use. So there we go, that's that one there. And let's mark halfway. Mark. Evenly spaced. This particular one has four holes. So you divide the space into five. And then drill those holes through there. Try and keep them really square. I love these sorts of videos. We're doing this whole thing in six minutes, or actually five and a half, and uh, it'll probably take a little bit longer to do this, but there we are. Now you've got to clean up the back edge of these, so pick a bigger drill bit and just chamfer a little bit, get rid of all the rough edges, and then put the dowels back in, and they'll form the basis for our key holders. Now I would just put them all in and then tap. To get them in the right place. It's tight enough not to need glue or anything like that. And then prepare a bracket. So the bracket's going to have two screws into the wall and two screws into each of the brackets. Into the, each of the brackets, yes. 
So drill all the holes so the screws go straight through without touching. And I'll put two pilot screws in there to hold it while we set it up. It's always better to set it up in the workshop than it is in the actual location. I'll take these out later. So I put two holes in the wall. I'm going to do that in a different video. And then the two screws to hold the bracket. Ooh, where will I put my keys? Ah, there's a good spot. Thank you. That's it.